Hey everyone, I'm back at long last and I finally got some Strixhaven stuff to go through. Got a set booster box here to start off with. Let's get into it. Let's go to school. School of Mages. Um, many of you may have noticed that uh, I don't upload as frequently as I used to and that's a direct um, cause of the my entire life is just taking over. I really have uh, a lot less time for this kind of stuff lately so you get it when you get it just like I tell my kids you get what you get and you don't throw a fit right I mean you can throw a fit most of you guys are adults probably so feel free throw a fit don't hurt yourself though anyway here we go Let's see what I can get out of this here Strix Haven set boosters I'm still the jury's still out for these for me on these um, I think I like the draft booster boxes better just for what's the usefulness you can actually play a game with it where set boosters are really about collectability and uh, the art cards are neat but I don't see myself wanting to collect a whole set of these even though I am a bit of a collector you know Johannes v Voss great great uh, artist there we got a foil very nice forest there and then, of course, these first few are like some kind of theme. Containment Breach. Uh, it's not a modal. That's a lesson card. Sorry. Star pu Pupil. Exhilarating Elocution. A Brackish Trudge. Deadly Brew. Some kind of... I, I like this chick, the Dina Soul Steeper. Whenever you gain life, each opponent loses one life. You can do some shenanigans with that kind of stuff. Um, so I guess this is just a Golgari theme with a white card thrown in the middle. I don't know. I don't get what the theme is supposed to be. But there they are. And I'm going to probably be skipping those from now on. Got a frost boil snarl. And we will scan up the ones that look like somewhat notable hits. So this is a dual land. Enters the battlefield. May reveal an island or mountain card from your hand. If you don't, it enters the battlefield tapped. You can add, oops, blue or red. See, to me, these seem very useful. But apparently, these are just like a continuation of a... Um, a uh, series from I think like Scars of Mirrodin or something like that and they're not worth a whole lot but I like them I think they're cool so here we've got a Day of Judgment this is the uh, help me out here I forget what they're calling these things I'll look them up in a second but that's a I do like this a lot the frames the borders are really cool on these um the Myst Mystical Archives is that what these are Destroy All Creatures Day of Judgment a mythic here we got a foil campus guide and a bog brew witch from m14 so this is from the list and uh, i find that to be an underwhelming card to pull from the list for my rare so i'm not going to scan that and i will scan this day of judgment and see how did i do 375 mystical archive very good all right here we go i'm going to kind of pick up the pace here you can uh you can mute me if you want to hear me blabber or anything oh very cool Nice art. It goes over there. Cool planes. Goes over there. Got a lesson card. Uh, yep. I like Kazmina. There we go. That's cool. Verdant Mastery. Plarg. Dean of Chaos. He's an Orc Shaman and a Negate. Something big there. Gorgeous. So yeah, this 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 set. These set boosters are really all about all these mystical archives. Negate, not a big money card, but um, very useful. It sees, um, definitely sees play when it's in standard. I don't know if it sees a whole lot of play elsewhere. Heated debate and a treasure token. There we go. And I think the big thing we're looking for is the Japanese mystical archives. Uh, that's called cool. for uh, preordain, I believe. Uh, memory Lapse, very cool art. Necrotic Fumes. I like. I'm I'm digging the flavor of this set. Um, I'm not really gonna be able to play with it much, but uh, I like the school. It's basically, you know, Ravnica Guilds with uh, a school theme. It's, it's there's a lot of Harry Potter stuff going on here. You guys know that. Archmage Emeritus and a Snakeskin Veil. Emeritus is a couple bucks. That one is not much. A pop quiz and an inkling. 
creature inkling. See, this would have been more made more sense to me if this was like a spirit or something, but it's how they chose to do it. It's actually an inkling creature type. Very cool. What is this? Um, I don't know. I won't guess. I won't guess. Sign in blood. That makes total sense. Mountain. Oh, yeah. We're looking for Professor Onyx, too. Eye twitch. That thing's cool. Quandrix Command. So Quandrix is, uh, of course, the, the Simic of the set. What did it say on the back of the box? I wanted to see this. Look. They're math magicians. Like I tell my kids all the time that math is magical it's really exciting it's 68 cents i only got one of them weather the storm you gain three life and then you can storm off with it um i'm not sure if this is a reprint or if it's a new card i think there might have actually been a couple new cards let me see if that one's been printed before anywhere else modern horizons interesting okay so it's, it has been reprinted but it was relatively recently Got a bookworm. That's great. And another list card that I didn't really care for. That are, This is the one I didn't want. Sunscape Battle Mage. There it is. All right, let's get going here. Deal with my box. Crack these open. Spirit token, that's cool. So this is an animated uh, statue there. A Leonin, is that? It's not a Johnny Leonin. Lightscribe. Island. The lesson cards, I think there's probably some cool stuff you can do with uh, pulling from outside of your your deck. Uh, pulling from outside of the game. Probably going to be a thing. Here we go. we got a mythic Belladros Witherbloom. He's a Elder Dragon. He's one of the, uh, like the heads of the, the guilds here, right? And a Putrefy. 1996. So that might be one of the better cards in the set right now. Let's see what he does. He's, got, he's a 7-drop 4-4 four, four flyer. At the beginning of each upkeep, create a 1-1 one, one black and green pest. Creature token. When it dies, you gain 1 life. You can pay 10 life to untap all lands you control and activate only once each turn. Well, you could probably go off with that every now and then. So that's a keeper. Throw that right there. And a Putrefy. Not much there. Um, I did get just one set booster box and a couple of collector boxes. Hey, same guy right there. Witherblam. Oh, I got a foil back there. I'm not going to spoil it yet. Let's get to it. Rip apart. Sparring Regimen. And a Defiant Strike. That's not a big one. And a Duress. Ooh, very nice. So as a foil, this might be a little bit because this card sees some play. I like the take on the art. I like it. It's very, I don't know, otherworldly, metaphysical. Duress in a foil. It's a whole 33 cents more than the standard. I like it. I'll probably keep it. Next up. Got a... Owl Mage there. I got a foil planes. Skip to the end. Tempted by the Auric. Nothing. Valentin, Dean of the Vein. And he's a flip over to Lizette. Dean of the Root. That's cool. We got to claim the firstborn. There's a buck there. Claim the firstborn. 26 cents. I'll probably hang on to it for that price. Maybe someday I'll use it. Oh, here's our signed card. Maybe someday they'll actually get these right and have them actually signed, just like sports cards. Torrent Sculptor by Slauramir Maniac. Um, my apologies to Slauramir. I probably butchered your name there. To the, dr the Dream Strix is the rare here and an inquisition of Kozilek. Um target player reveals their hand. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. it's like a duress, so mana value three or less. Cool. Very cool to see the 
Eldrazi showing up in this. You know they'll be back. 416 for that one. Cool elemental token there. Come on, packs. Get open. These guys, the silver quill. So I didn't, I watched through uh, spoiler season and kind of familiarized myself with all the cards and then I quick, quickly forgot them while I waited like three weeks to get my boxes. So um, I forget like all of the ins and outs of all these cards, but we're really looking for the mythics and the, uh, the mystical archives anyway. Auric, lore mage, and a god's willing. Cool card, cool art. A lot of hands, a lot of hands in these somehow. Am I, am I seeing that? There's like a lot of like spells and casting going on to make these mystical archives happen. Might just be me. Oh, good, another a list card from a year ago from Modern Master and it's Birthing Bows. Any good? Nah. I'd rather get like one of those per box and have it be like a heavy hitter. Fractal token. That's pretty cool. And a fox. Hey, nice. Mila Crafty Companion. I think that's the flip over for uh, um, Luca. Is it the Planeswalker? I sort of pay attention sometimes. We got a lore hold command and an agonizing remorse. Nothing too big. Oh, and yep, Secret Lairs. Give Watsy all your money. The Hasbro shareholders need to get those dividends, you know? That's how it goes. This one we just got. It was uh, Negate, yeah. Skipping to a Prismari Command and a Claim the Firstborn again, eh? Prismari Command, four ninety nine. Yep, having some options on one card. That's pretty powerful, right? Commands can be good. Claim the firstborn again. But being bink wasn't big. And a clear water goblet. So another I got another rare list card. It's got sunburst. The beginning of your upkeep made gain one life for each charge counter on clear water goblet. I don't imagine that's a big one. What do you know? I was right. Yeah. That's okay. It's alright. I really wanted those list cards that are under a dollar. I was just saying that to myself. Self, I would like some under a dollar list cards. This guy's funny. Uh, he reminds me of like Biogenic Ooze, Blex, Vexing Pest. I don't remember uh, all the ins and outs of his card there. Got a Zimone Quandrix Prodigy. Sorry for all the yelling in the background. That would be my kids being put to bed right now. Manifestation Sage. 35 cents, an Augmenter Pugilist, very nice, and an Opt, so not so much the hands, but there's uh, definitely like a certain representation, like ancient textbooks, right, I guess that's the whole idea of that, Opt, Test of Talents, and a Herald's Horn, so this one might actually rate over a dollar, yeah, so the Jumpstart version 13, the list version mystery booster list is 12 bucks hey that's a hit right there all right fine i stand corrected about the list they put some decent stuff in here what is going on here man i guess i got a terrible headache is this murder agonizing remorse very nice We are into a Sedgemore Witch and a Village Rights. The Witch is three bucks. Village Rights. There we go. Oh, that's cool. Um, Preordain? Strategic Planning. Something like that. Oh, we got a got a rare card in the front. Is that how these have been? Did I miss any? Teachings of the Archaic. So it's a lesson card, right? So 
the slots in these, like that's a dedicated lesson slot. Maybe I missed all that. And it could have been a rare this whole time. Gnarled Professor and a Harmonize. And we got a foil rare. Land. Looks nice. Vine Glimmer Snarl. Buck 80. Is the foil any better? $2. Wow. And a Scred. So that's pretty decent for a little common there. Yeah. yeah that's the... Cold snap version is a buck fifty. The list is a little bit less, ninety nine. Alrighty. Next up. Oh, we got another signed card. Ghost Lee. G A G Host Lee, actually. Spectre of the Fens. So can these be scanned? Spectre of the Fens art card. Gold border. Gold stamped. Yeah, two sixteen. Well. Well, there it is. There must be some collectors for those out there. I might have to go through these and see if I missed any rares at any point. Devastating Mastery. Mila, Crafty Companion. Um, extended Border. That's cool, and it flips over to Luke, I believe. we got a Thrill of Possibility. Very nice. So, uh, Mila here has got some possibilities. And it is worth eight bucks. We'll pull that in the hit pile. A little possibility, nothing too big there. <clears throat> About halfway through this box now. I like the, okay, I do like the art. <clears throat> Revitalize, okay. We've got a Tempted by the Auric and a Gift of Estates. I think Demonic Tutor is probably like the big, uh, oh, and Tainted Pack would probably be the big um, draws, the big chases out of this set for those. So be on the lookout for those. Tainted Pack was a card that was like 50 cents for ever. And all of a sudden, people figured out they could do something with that. So here's hoping we get one of those. Uh, what's this guy? Introduction to Prophecy. Like, it's like a class at Strixhaven. They got the course, the course uh, syllabus there. Body of Research got a mythic. The three green and three blue. Wow, create a zero, zero green and blue fractal creature token. Put X one with counters on it where X is the number of cards in your library. Man, you're going to make a giant monster body right there in your commander. And it's uh, 447. Shale flips into, there we go, we got a demonic tutor. Embros, 50 cents. And then, it's, then the tutor, let's check out this art real close. Yep, it's getting tutored. That's how it goes. Um, definitely the foil version would have been really nice here. But hey, we'll take that as a $46 card. I will put a sleeve on it. I will try to put a sleeve on it. There we go. Nice. Uh, what is this? Some fractals? Emergent sequence. Lesson card. Blade historian and the cultivate. I'll probably hang on to those. Master Symmetrist. So there might be some foil common or uncommon that's over a buck, and I know I'm not scanning it, but you see how long this is taking. I'm trying to scan up everything. It just takes too long. Got a Frost Boil Snarl. Devouring Tendrils. We got a Cody. That's hilariously cute. Vociferous Codex. Cute little book. Legendary construct, and you can do a bunch of stuff with that. Apparently, you can read all that if you want. 59 cents. Whirlwind Denial. Pilgrim and a Relearn. So at least when they reprinted these, they put a bunch of ink on it. Yeah, the original Weatherlight printing is a little bit lighter, I think, if I remember correctly. 30 cents for the original. All right, here we go. Let's 
What's going on here? Harmonize? Primal Command. Get it on screen. Okay. Baleful Mastery and a Lightning Bolt. Baleful Mastery, 590, right? You may pay, ah, uh, alternate casting cost, always good. You may pay one in a black rather than pay this spell's mana cost. If it was paid, an opponent draws a card, exile target creature or planeswalker. That's got some use. That's got some uses, and you don't have to pay the low casting cost if you don't want them to have that card. Lightning Bolt deals three damage to any target for one red. That seems pretty good. 428. Very beautiful. Anato Finstark is the artist on that. Very cool. Love the abstract kind of ancient scroll kind of design on that. Very cool. Field trip and a fractal. There's the, the bookworm. Oh, we got a foil, or I'm sorry, a rare lesson. Are there any of those that are good? Maybe there's a mythic one. Rust Rebirth and an Eliminate. That's over a buck. Let's see if a foil Soul Steeper. She's just an uncommon, but that seems like the card kind of card you might build something around. Let's see, as a foil. Yeah, 81 cents. Kozilek again, or the Inquisition of such. We've got a, there we go, Tanazar Quandrix. Looks like this might be alternate art. Uh, extended border. Elder Dragon, Flying Trample. When he enters the battlefield, double the number of one encounters on target creature you control. And whenever it attacks, you may have the base power and toughness of other creatures you control become equal to this guy's power and toughness till end of turn. Wow, well, yeah. Oh, yeah. That might see a little play, and then we got a Stone Rain. 801, that's good. That's Keeper. We'll put him right here. Uh, stone Rain, again, cool art. Um, I don't know why you would make this common, a rare, but uh, I know it's just kind of the slotting for this stuff. 50 cents, very cool. And a Belfry Bale, Spirit. Uh, is my list card, and it is probably worth nothing, yep. Okay, and then um, I kind of neglected to talk about the other um, uh, schools, or what are they called? The classes? I forget. So this is like what you would call Rak... I'm not Rakdos, but um, is it in Ravnica, but it's blue and red, and they kind of do different kind of takes on the way that red and blue are traditionally handled, and really the colors, like... Um, got it, and see here we've got some of this stuff. Prismari, that's the name of these, right? Um, the Magecraft uh, mechanic is probably going to be pretty decent. So, you know, wizards always innovating. Radiant Scroll Wielder and a Nether Negate. Come on, let's get something better than that. Got that. Money-wise, we're looking pretty good on our box here at least. Oh, that's cool. Uh, Banishing Light? Grape Shot. Okay, sure. I could see that. Academic Probation for a lesson. Ulrich Lore Mage and Adventurous Impulse. Is this the one that I was thinking of that was a new printed card, or is that a reprint card as well? Yep, Dominaria. Okay. Maybe none of those were not reprints. Biomathematician. Look at the art. That's really cool. Very cool. I go, Igor Kyrilliuk. I can't even. It's just not going to work for my tongue. Um. Yeah, what was this one? Stone Rain. Sure. Sciences, and let's get into Exponential Growth. A Torrent Sculptor, which flips over to Flamethrower Sonata. And a Strategic Planning. Oops, I'm putting my rares in the wrong spot here. 
Quandrix Apprentice. Very shiny. Okay, just a few packs left. Thanks for watching, you guys. Everyone who's left here. Always appreciate your views. Let's check out these bird dudes together at the end here. Ink Duelist. We got a Necroblossom Snarl and a Time Warp. Very cool. The Snarl is a couple bucks. Let's do the Time Warp again and again and again. I've heard reports that this was annoying to see pop up in Limited during pre-release. But you know what? Hey, if you're lucky to pull this, use it. And then use it again. And then use it again. Right? 14 bucks. I'm happy to have it. Novice Dissector. Uh, mind rot would I guess go blank man I think mind rot is one of those cards though venerable war singer and a duress reconstruct history cool I like the foiling with the logo in there Um, what is going on with this guy? He's like uh, a dragon speaker. Spectre of the Fens. I've got a foil mystical archive. I don't want to spoil it. Let's see here. Got the Shine Shadow Snarl. Manatai, all right. And a Revitalize. Which is not the best. Oops. Foil. Try again. Third time. 49 cents. All right. Two more packs here. Was this guy again? Torrent Sculptor. Island. Islands in the stream. Here we go. Shadrick Silver Quill. This is definitely a dragon box here. Great. Seven bucks. Flame Scroll Celebrant. And a Divine Gambit. Thrilling Discovery. All right, last pack here. Thanks for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe. Tip your waiter. All that good stuff. Make your mark. And we get for the end here, Harness Infinity. We end it with a Mythic at least. Man, look at the casting cost on that. Exchange your hand in Graveyard and then you exile this thing. That's got some possibilities. And look who the artist is, Seb McKinnon. The king of abstract himself right there. Harness Infinity and a Memory Lapse. Which is pretty cool. That's the box art on the booster box, I think. There we go. And we got a cool frog wizard. There we go. Thanks for watching. Tragic MTG. Catch you later.